<laughs> ADP reporting that private payrolls rose 129,000 in the month of March. That is below both the estimate for ADP itself and below the estimate for Friday, and maybe enough below that you might get some uh, tweaking of the estimates out there on the street. Was the estimate? Uh, 170 was the estimate for ADP, and 170,000 is the estimate for Friday. Hmm. Um, ADP's been a little bit on the uh, high side. And I will tell you, interestingly enough, they doubled down on their estimate for February. Remember, February was the big disappointment, around 20,000. They raised their February estimate by 14,000 to 197,000. So they don't think that the government has it right. Um, and by the way, there's considerable debate on the street which number is the right number. Um, uh, there, there's where you saw the, the, the shortfall there. Small business up only 6,000 with the uh, category of, of employees of 1 to 19 actually losing work. We've seen small business optimism fall off. I don't know quite what's happening there. Can Becky? I, can I just ask? I, I, it's the first year of a new tax law. A lot of businesses, a lot of individuals trying to figure out what they owe. I wonder if small businesses are too. Like big businesses don't have a question because they figured it out long in advance. If you are a small business, you have less than 50 people. My guess couple is you're friends doing the, same of mine, the rest of us individuals are doing, which is wait and see what happens. A couple friends of mine run small businesses and they have no idea. Yeah. Um, I think I said this story on air before, but I've been raising money for a charity right now and I had a friend of mine say to me, uh, I will give you money after I meet with the accountant and I find out what's happened to yeah. the SALT deduction. He met with the accountant and was told he should be giving 25% of what he gave last year. Because that's because how big of a hit he's going the, he to He took a on. huge hit on SALT and the interest deduction. Um, I mean, uh, small businesses, not that the businesses saw their taxes increase, but the owners right. of small business may have seen their taxes increase, which makes them wonder how much they can invest back in Now, you do have the pass-through thing, so, right? So don't forget that. We, no, but I just mean, where's you're Robert small, Frank when you need him? He knows about all this stuff. If your own personal taxes go up, that may make you feel like I don't have as much money to invest I think in that's right. as I normally would. Peter Bookfar writing this morning saying we are underestimating the effect of the SALT uh, mm -hmm. impact. I will say I looked into this. 90% um, of taxpayers in the top quintile get a tax or estimated to have gotten a tax cut. No, this is tax policy center data uh, of around 8,000. 10 percent took a whack of around 7,000. So maybe the 10 percent are talking loudly or the tax policy well, center's right. estimates you're, are wrong. You're waiting exactly. to see if you have a big tax bill to pay for the year or not. It's something we need to watch yeah. and we don't know. Uh, it was it affected some states uh, a lot of the blue states quite a bit. Let me go on and give you some of the other data here. Education Health Services leading the pack. If you've seen that before, it's because they always lead the pack, up 56,000. And it's the construction number down at the bottom there, down 6,000. Had a kind of lousy month, as did manufacturing. Here's a quote from Mark Zandi, uh, who puts this together but couldn't join us this month. says, the job market is weakening with employment gains slowing significantly across most industries and company sizes. Businesses are hiring cautiously as the economy is struggling with fading fiscal stimulus the trade uncertainty, and the lagged impact of Fed tightening. If employment growth weakens much further, unemployment will begin to rise. I, I'm not as pessimistic as that, I want you to know, for what it's worth. Um, I think this is the slowdown we've been waiting for. It's not the slowdown is coming. The slowdown is here right now. Sure. Um, I will say, though, that jobless claims have been pretty healthy, down in that 211, lower 200,000 range. Um, the JOLTS data has, is not getting any better in terms of job openings. But it's leveled off at a very high level. So I'm not ready quite yet to write off the, uh, the jobs business. But uh, the slowdown both in GDP and the follow along of slowdown in employment, it's here. And if this is where we settle, it's good. It's good, good numbers, 2% plus and then still 100,000 plus That's on not jobs. the way of the universe, though. You're always either getting better or getting worse, moving towards more chaos or moving away from the chaos. Uh, you know, I think we could, this is a little bit uh, heretical, but it might be worth saying the Fed kind of wanted this to happen. I think you're moving, basically always moving towards more chaos. Unless you're Entropic. Afraid. No, in the physical world. In the that, physical uh, world, but right. no, but it's like if you stop, if you stop, you're never finished with your house, you know? If you stop fixing, things start to right, fall Right, but what apart. Joe's right. talking about is the idea that your house is always falling apart. Yes, and that it's, means it's why the you natural, have to work. You have to always right. work to try and keep order. You can Which never coast. It just means buy Home Depot. <laughs> you need to take something away from this. Right. Thank Andy's you. been negative for a while. He's been very negative. He's, he's like very years, negative. About the I, think that we'd run out of workers. He, he, the, the we miss general, Alan the economics Kruger. community has Remember been. Alan Kruger had some work. So Alan, Alan said until the very last time I talked to him that he was correct. That's what I thought. And I'll tell you why he said he was correct, just very quickly, is that 
He said, so long as more and more people were coming to the workforce and the unemployment rate was falling, he was, we were not, he said, adding into the workforce on net. That was his idea. Uh, there's been some stories, now, though, that we have been able to level off the decline of participation rate that everybody forecast because of retirement. So you have this force of people leaving the workforce because they're retiring, but also the force of a better economy drawing people back in. And that's created a stalemate in the participation rate, which was not what was expected. It was expected to continue to decline. I'm glad you brought that up. We miss Alan Kruger. We miss Alan Kruger. Yes, we do. Yes. Thank you, Steve. It's really